Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Awesome then. It's a great day. Yes, it is. It's Friday, right? Okay. Yay, Friday. Oh, how about you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. I'm, uh, I'm happy that it's Friday, actually. <laughs> that I get to. It's a pleasure to hear you. Thank you, you too. Yes, it's a, it's a pleasure to listen to you guys. So today is the last day from this week, right? El último día de esta semana. How do you feel? Do you feel happy that it's Friday? Yeah, teacher, we are happy. Although awesome. It's a pleasure to to be learning English every day. Yes, it is. And thank you for, for saying that, Amilcar. So today, um, um, we are recovering the class from last week, um, from the two days we didn't receive class, right? So this will be the last week uh, that you'll be from Monday to Friday. Next week will be normal from Monday to Thursday. Um, so, uh, and today, as I mentioned yesterday, we will be covering the, um, the midterm exam. However, before I do that, I would like to know if, um, if there are any questions regarding the topic from yesterday, that it was about um, who, wish, that. Do you remember? Yes, I do. Ok, vamos a ver eso rapidito antes de pasar con el examen. Ok, so uh, it was who, wish, and that, right? Esos tres. ¿Se recuerdan que me iban a regalar un ejemplo um, y lo íbamos a revisar ahorita en la clase? Yeah. Right. Uh, can you help me with that, Amilcar? Give me yours. Just one. Hey, uh, let me a moment, please. Yes, it's okay. Take your time. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, I can send you in the in the chat or only yes. uh, I tell you. No, in the chat. It's okay. Yes, and yes, I okay. and I will copy it. Yes. Thank okay. you. Okay, a question then. Yes, in this case, that question is correct. See, ¿Sí? la pregunta está correcta. Just remember that um, when we're talking about um, this, en este caso, yeah. estas, yes. O sea, la pregunta está perfecta. Yes. Eh, si estamos usando WH questions, right? Solo que yeah. en este caso, recuerden que ya no sería, eh, solo en este escenario, de ahí siempre sería verbo, pero solo en este escenario sería pronombre, right? lo que sustituye al nombre de la persona. Pero, quiero ver, yes, la pregunta está correcta, Amilcar, thank you. So, ¿cómo lo utilizaríamos el who como pronombre? En este caso es WH question, lo vamos a poner aquí. No sé cómo, ¿quién era eh, la mujer? Yes, puede ser eso. 
O puede ser así como, podemos utilizar el mismo ejemplo. Podría ser... Uh, quiero ver cómo el who es para describir, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, la, la que utilizamos el día de ayer, Carlos Hernández, who was... Who is, I'm sorry, era, era la... Um, who is 76 has just retired. The woman... I saw yesterday sería who is mm, una descripción que le podríamos dar a esta persona. Por ejemplo, ayer le estábamos con el who utilizamos la edad de alguien. It was, it was busy. It's correct. Uh, yes, it's correct, pero no en esta Uh, mm -hmm. no, en, no en esta, Ajá, porque recuerden de que el who, por ejemplo, es uh, ya puede ser que dé de, que de algo más información de esta persona, por ejemplo, la edad, que, en qué trabaja, qué descubrió, qué es lo que ha hecho. Who is, who is 31 years old. Mm -hmm. Yes, vaya, perfecto. 31 years old. Pueden dejarlo así o puedes decir qué más dijeron de esa persona. Por ejemplo, ¿qué pasó con esa mujer que vino a ir? The woman I saw yesterday who is 31 years old was um, beautiful, right? Podemos dejarlo así. The woman I saw yesterday who is 31 years old was beautiful, right? Era hermosa. Y ahí puede estar, right? Puede ser como pregunta WH, pero en este caso, ya no, este W, el who, no lo utilizamos para preguntas. Ajá, sí, las preguntas, es que vaya, vamos a, creo que hay un poquito de confusión en esto. Estas tres, guys, eh, sí pregunta, funcionan como preguntas WH, no sé si se recuerdan, eh, que es el who, what, Wish, where, when, how. No, there's questions. Ah, but estas son preguntas, okay? That's correct. With this one, we want to know more information about that person. De cierta manera, estas actúan, guys, como, como queremos saber algo de la otra persona. Right? This, en ese punto, they act as verbs, right? We want to know more info, right? Who, quién, qué, el qué, cuándo, cómo, dónde, right? Pero estas, en este caso, ya no se tomarían como preguntas, para hacer preguntas, sino que como pronombres, right? O en otras palabras, como sujeto, ¿sí? Who lo utilizamos para personas o animales, di, quedamos de acuerdo ayer, right? El, um, el which, que lo utilizamos para cosas, right? Cosas. Y el that, que también lo podemos utilizar para personas o cosas, right? Entonces, digamos que la diferencia sería que estas es para preguntar y estas es para sustituir al pronombre o al o de la persona o cosa de lo que se esté hablando. Por ejemplo, aquí. De, en esta oración, guys, ¿de quién se está hablando? Woman. That's correct, the woman, right? So, para no ser redundantes, ya no, utiliz ya no decimos she is she one is. years old. Ajá, uh -huh. we substitute mm -hmm. that with who, right? So we don't use the pronoun again. What will be the pronoun for her? She, right? 
if you want to use the pronoun, right? Si quisieran utilizar el pronoun, ese sería el que tendrían que ocupar. Okay? Yeah, uh -huh, exactly. So if you don't want to use it again, right? You just substitute this with this, all right? And that's it. En este caso, estos ya no son para hacer preguntas, sino que vamos a ponerlo aquí in English, right? Substitute, substitute the pronoun. All right? They are not verbs. En este escenario, solo en este escenario, no lo vamos a utilizar para saber más información, sino que para describir a la persona en lugar de volver a utilizar el pronombre. All right? Las preguntas están correctas. No estoy diciendo que estén mal. They are perfect. They are perfect for WH questions. For example, America, Amilcar said, which of these cell phones do you prefer? Right? That is perfect. If, for example, if you want to know an opinion from somebody, right? Um, if they prefer Samsung or if they prefer Huawei or if they prefer Apple, right? Because all of us have different tastes, right? Todos tenemos diferentes gustos. Y en todo, ¿verdad? Ya no se diga en, en teléfonos. So, with this one, remember, that is not a question you will do. En este, digamos, solo en este escenario, no es una pregunta que vamos a hacer, sino que vamos a dar más información de lo que estamos hablando. Por ejemplo, damos un ejemplo ayer. Um, vamos a ver. Un libro. Do you know, do you know a book and an author, guys? ¿Conocen algún libro y el autor del libro? Por poner un ejemplo. El Principito. Perfect. Principito. Uh, Principito. By Saint Pari Exemplary. That's correct. So how would you make that, that sentence? ¿Cómo haría la oración? Utilizando cualquiera de esas. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful book. book. Beautiful book. That was written by. by no sé Park. cómo se escribe. Saint Saint Clark Exuperi. Saint Exuperi, right? Ex. Park. I'm sorry, guys. No sé cómo se escribe. <laughs> But it was written by this person. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> sí, perdón si me equivoqué. Si me pueden corregir, háganlo, please. So, El Principito is a beautiful book. That was, miren aquí, that. That was, that was written by Saint de Exupery. I don't, yes, I'm sorry about that. Ahí sí me disculpo. But yes, it was written by him, right? So, we are giving that, that information, right? Ya estamos viendo que ese, ese libro fue escrito por él, right? That, personas o cosas. En este caso, libro, ¿qué es? It's a beautiful book. That's correct. It's a beautiful book, right? It will be a thing. Sería una, una cosa, por decirlo así. It will be a thing, right? So that's why. Veamos otra con who. Who, we say that we give information about someone, right? Damos información acerca de alguien. Vamos a... Um, voy a borrar solo este, ¿ok? Para poner ahí mismo el ejemplo. Okay. Teacher. Dígame. For example, it's correct. Uh, um, Verónica Guerrero has a cute dog. Which your better friendly has to dogs. Okay, escribámosle. Verónica Guerrero has a two dogs. A cute, a cute, a cute dog. Oh, a cute dog. All right. Uh -huh, a cute dog. Uh, which your better, your better friendly has to dog. Es en español quise poner como eh, sus mejores ami sus mejores amistades tienen dos perros. Mm -hmm. eh, no, ahí, o sea, la oración está bien, pero ahí sería while, ¿ah? mientras que sus mejores amigas tienen dos. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Ah, pero sí podríamos ocupar esta oración. Uh, remember that wish, for example, um, podemos utilizarlo así como, um, bueno, better. Consideramos al perrito una cosa, podemos, o podemos utilizar el wish, right? Wish is. Uh -huh. oh, ¿Sabe qué podemos hacer? Verónica Guerrero has a dog. Uh -huh. Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wish is cute. Sí, consideramos al perrito una cosa. Uh -huh. pero, ajá, pero también podemos decir who is cute, right? Uh -huh. Or es más, aquí hasta el that pudiéramos ocupar. That uh -huh. is cute. Cualquiera de esos tres, right? Because we are giving, in this case, uh, es como enfatizar el adjetivo, por decirlo así, right? Porque la edad es un adjetivo, o no. Si decimos que algo es bonito, es un adjetivo, right? Mm -hmm. So with this, that's what we do, all right? Puede ser cualquiera de esos tres y está bien. Which, who, that? Which is cute? Who is cute? That is cute, right? En uh -huh. este caso, porque el perrito, hay personas que no lo consideran, eh, lo, lo consideran una cosa, right Por eso es posible también utilizar el wish. Mm. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Pero Thank si you. ya estamos hablando de una persona, you're welcome. Si ¿Sí sería solo who o that. Uh, ajá. Who o that. Wish o... Oh, ajá. Ah, ok, 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 ok. Yes. All right, then. ¿Creen que ya está un poquito más claro, guys? Yeah. yeah. All right, then. Ok, entonces en ese caso, uh, me gustaría que viéramos el midterm exam. Do you remember that I mentioned that by today, no later than tomorrow, you should have finished the midterm exam? Deberían de, deberíamos de haber terminado el examen de medio curso. Yes. Okay. yes, teacher. Yes. Awesome. So what, what, what I want you, well, what we're going to do right now, guys, is to go over the midterm test and see if you had any issues with this. Okay, vamos a revisar el examen entre todos para ver si hay algunas cosas que no se comprendieron en el sentido de que sometimes, guys, the instructions may not be clear, right? Or that we're just okay. too nervous, right? So, a veces no es que no estén claras, sino que estamos tan nerviosos que no le entendemos a las instrucciones. All right? So, don't worry. <laughs> Let's go over this. Vayamos a, al midterm test. So, so, we take advantage of the time and we can see if, um, if we did good or if we can make any um, corrections to the test. ¿Sí? Para que puedan hacer correcciones al test si quieren también. Okay, so let's go over this. For example, the first one, you had to listen to the conversations, right? And check the correct answers. Did you have any questions with these guys? With the letter A, I think it was one, two, three, four, five. Five sections. Eran cinco secciones la del examen, del midterm test. How do you feel with this one? Was it good? ¿Cómo se sintieron con esta? Excelente. Excelente. Yeah, good. All right. No problem. No problem. Okay, then. In that case, let's go with the next one. With the letter B. Okay. So we have letter B that it says match the questions with the answers, right? That was it. Match the questions with the answers. For example, if number one Quédeme says, mi computadorcita, por favor. Está are we en, going en to work this weekend? Cuarto. Por favor. Right? Si sí, oh. la pregunta decía, are we going to work this weekend? Okay. We're not. We're going to relax. That's correct, right? We're not. We're going to relax. Right? Dígame. Because you're going to take a mini vacation, let's say. <laughs> Right? Niñas. Si es que se van a tomar una mini vacación o no es necesario, ¿verdad? Hasta en nuestra casa podemos tener sí, sí, nuestra sí, mini vacación. Solo que no porque este es viejo y malo. Right? Sí, sí, sí. So, that's it. Solo, solo que necesito... mañana, mire, a las 5 nos vamos mañana. O sea, que a las 4 hay que levantar. 
Jorge, le voy a desactivar un ratito el audio. Sorry. Ok, I'm sorry, guys. So, for example, here it says we just needed to match it, right? Solo necesitábamos relacionarla. Este sobre todo era como de lógica o también de lo que usted iba a hacer, right? Because, for example, some people go to work, right? Hay personas que sí trabajan fin de semana. But there are some people that they don't, right? So in this case, like, no, we're not. We're going to relax, right? Vamos a trabajar este fin de semana. Entonces, si le preguntan de trabajar, no va a decir, yes, I am going to go swimming, right? Porque a menos que sea un nadador profesional, no podemos nadar en el trabajo, ¿ok? <laughs> so, digamos, la primera no aplica, right? No. Um, that's correct. Entonces, digamos que, <laughs> sí, ¿verdad? Ellos bien chivo. No, mentiras. Gran trabajo que tienen que hacer para poder ser profesionales. So, se ve bien chivo decir que van a nadar. So that's correct, right? And the same thing with the number two. Are they going to cook dinner? Yes or no, right? Y aquí lo mismo. We are talking about dinner, not about water or anything. So the same. The first one does not apply, right? Because we're not going swimming. Si Pero, eso es como que estamos evitando la pregunta, right? Yes, I'm going to go, I'm going to go swimming, right? Sí, hagan la cena ustedes, ven qué hacen y se van, right? Pero igual no aplica, right? Aquí, ¿cuál pusieron, guys? Sí, Pero, sí. Yes, they yes, are. They are, they are going they are to, to make pasta. Amazing, right? Yes, they are. They're going to make pasta because pasta is food, right? Awesome, awesome. Number three, it says, are you going to exercise this evening, right? There are different type of exercises. So what, which one do you think is the correct one? Oh, I see la uno, right? Yes, I am. Yes, That's I am. Yes, right. I am. I, mm -hmm. I am going to go swimming. Awesome. That's correct. Because swimming, it's one type of exercises you can do, right? To stay healthy, right? Remember, when hablamos de la salud, go swimming or do exercise it's one of the things you can do to stay healthy all right let's go with the number four it says is bill going to do anything after work right so after work in the future right what is bill going to do after work right what do you think he's going to do Yes, he is. Yes, he's he going is. to visit going these parents. Amazing. That's correct. Because here, we already know that, for example, Bill, the noun is a he, right? That's why we're yes. doing he. Amazing. Amazing. All right. Let's go with the next one. It says, oops, wait. Number five. Are Pam and Andrew going to have a picnic, picnic this weekend, right? Pam and Andrew are two people, right? El pronombre, ¿cuál sería de ellos dos? Hey. 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 Perfect. They are. Amazing. Right, exacto. ¿Cuál sería entonces aquí? No, they are. They are exactly. going to have a party going to have a party. That is correct. No, they aren't. They are going to have a party, right? Amazing. Y lo último, right? Is it going to rain tomorrow? What do you think? B. B, that's No, it's not. It's going to be closed. Amazing, that's correct. Right? So let's see, vamos a ver si nos equivocamos. Awesome, guys. Amazing. Dense un aplauso así, chiquitito. <laughs> yes. As, oh, ya sé, para no hacer, para no hacer mucha bulla, háganlo con el emoticón que aparece por ahí. Ay, no lo encuentro. Se los iba a poner. Wait. Ahí está. Perfecto. Thank you very much. Amazing, guys. So, thank you very much, Astrid, Arlen. Thank okay. you. aplaudir. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> All right, so amazing. Okay, I see that are, we're good. We're good on letter B. Okay, in that case, let go, let's go with letter C. OIC, letter, uh, I'm sorry, double H questions, right? 
double, um, let me hit double L, I'm sorry, it's W questions. <laughs> w questions to complete the questions, the conversations, right? Eso era todo lo que teníamos que hacer. You, need, you needed to select the double H questions to complete the conversations, all right? And we already know, right? For example, uh, we already knew that they are how, how, era como, right? What, okay. which, ¿Qué otra hay? When. When. Esta where. es. Ajá. Where. where. Why. Why. Who. Who. Oh, perfect. ¿Qué um. es eso? ¿Quién? ¿Quién? That's correct. ¿Quién? Um. Um, Wolves. yes. Uh -huh. Wolves. Uh -huh. And those are, guys. Eso es todo. How, what, which, when, where, why, who, whom y whose uh, can be the same, right? Esto sobre todo se utiliza para posesión. No sé si se recuerdan. Whom. A quién pertenece, right? Who's, de quién es, right? So, podemos no ponerlas también. All right, cool. So, ya tenemos aquí. Let's go with the questions, all right? Let's read the answer first. Vamos a leer la, respu la respuesta, right? It says, next summer, we're going to go to Alaska, right? So, if they're talking about a place, si están hablando de un lugar, ¿Cuál creen que esté? ¿Cuál creen que sea acá? Where. Where. Where are you? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Go ahead. Where are you going to go next summer? Go next summer. That's it. Perfect. All right. Where are you going to go uh, next summer? And we just need to focus on the answer, right? ¿Cómo vamos a saber cuál es la, re la pregunta? Leyendo la respuesta. Aquí al revés, right? So we need to focus on the answer, right? And it, the conversation continues. Si se fijan, la conversación continúa. Le dice, we're going to go to Alaska. And then the other person answers, Alaska, wow. Um, and then the question. Y la respuesta dice, we're going to take a boat, right? So uh, what do you think you do? What, what do you think you go with? That's correct. Who are you going to go with, right? Is that, do you agree, guys? Yes. That is correct, right? We're going to take a both, right? Who are you going to go with? Or um, are you sure that is the one? Dice, we're going to take a boat. ¿Qué sería bote? Un medio de transporte. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yes. So, ¿cómo es que van a llegar a Alaska? Um, where are you going to get there? How, uh -huh. how are you how going, are you going, to, going get to get there? there? That's correct. How are you going to get there? Right? Porque la respuesta dice, we're going to take a boat. Right? So, how? How are you going to get there? We're going to take a boat. La siguiente si está bien. Um, who? Who are you going to go with, right? That yeah. sounds exciting. Y le responde, I'm going to go with my family, right? Yeah. Right, so aquí sí, who? Ya dijimos que es, quién, con quién, right? Who are you going to go with, all right? ¿Hasta ahorita vamos bien? Yes. Yes. Awesome. yes. Perfect. Okay, y ya lo último, ¿verdad? La conversación termina, le dice, great. Y la respuesta es, We're going to go on June 21st. Esta sería a date, right? Una When fecha, a date. Amazing. When, when are you, When going, are to you go? going to go? That's correct, porque aquí tenemos el cuando, right? When are you going to go? We're going to go on June 21st. 
And that should give you 20 of 20 points. All right? So far, so good. Vamos bien hasta ahorita? Yes. Perfect. Hasta ahorita llevamos 10 todos, guys. Chivos, sigamos así. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's my allergies, guys. It's not COVID. <laughs> yes. Yes, ya todos afligidos. Menos mal que estamos desde la casita. No, mentiras. <laughs> All right. Let's go over letter D, guys. Letter D says complete the conversation, right? We just need to complete the conversation, right? For example, we need to select the correct word. And we have the first part of the conversation. Si se fijan, this is about what we covered like two days ago, if I'm not mistaken, two or three, that when you want to know uh, how somebody is, um, is feeling, what do they have, what do they get, right? So, ¿cuál creen que sería el verbo si estamos hablando de dolor de cabeza? What do you think how? you mean? How? Oh. Uh -huh. I have a headache, right? I have a headache. Oh. La otra oh, no sería yeah. I feel, porque digamos que el dolor de cabeza no es que se siente oh. que venga, ¿verdad? <laughs> sino que uno ya sabe que lo tiene. That's the right. Now, next one, right? When we're talking about pills, which one do you think you can choose? Drink, eat, or take? Take. Take these pills, right? Porque es de tomar. Tomar, tomar estas pastillas. No de tomar, de tragar. Que drink, right? De tomar, tragar. Right? It's take, right? Awesome. I have a headache, Lacey. Take these pills, right? Para que se le quite el dolor de cabeza, le regalo pastillas. Awesome. Vamos con la segunda parte. La pregunta. ¿Cuál creen que sería? What, house, or wise? What? What? That's correct. What? what is the matter, right? Se recuerden que, que vimos la, las oraciones de cuando ustedes quieren saber qué es lo que le pasa a alguien. What's the matter, right? ¿Cómo responderían? I don't feel better. I don't feel well. I don't feel sick. I have a stomachache. I don't feel well. That's correct. I don't feel well. I have a stomach ache, right? Stomach ache. Cool. Let's go with the conversation number three. It's asked about, do you feel today? ¿Se recuerdan? ¿Cuál sería? How. How. How Perfect. do you feel? How. Amazing. How do you feel today? ¿Cómo te sientes el día de hoy? Right? Uh, y ya le pueden responder. Bueno, en este caso dice, not so good. Uh, not so good. Um, which one do you think it is? I have sore eyes, I feel sore eyes, or I am sore eyes? Oh. Uh, oh, perfect. I have sore eyes. Oh, que le arden sore. los ojos. Sore, ya sabían? Ardor? Sore. Esta palabra de acá. All right, so sore eyes. I have sore eyes. Awesome. Ya la última parte. Conversation four. I have back ache. All right, so how would you answer this? Don't exercise. Don't rest. Don't relax. If you have a back ache, ¿qué le dicen a uno si tiene dolor de espalda? Que descanse, right? Yes. Entonces, don't yes. exercise. Perfect. Yes. Because if they go exercising, it will be even worse later, right? Va a ser hasta peor después cuando ya se quiera, uh, se quiera recuperar. And the last one. And, aparte de que le está recomendando no hacer ejercicio, he says, and have this medication and use this medication and give this medication. Which one do you think it is? Use. Use? Use. All right. Yeah. Vamos a probar. All right. And use this medication. All right. So perfect. Amazing. Right. Another 10 to our pockets. Right. Awesome. So if you see, that's it. 
Generalmente, si se fijan, aquí ya va toda la, toda el contenido de función 3. Con las con el vocabulario de lo que vimos con la, um, la medicina. All right? So, so far so good. Vamos bien hasta ahorita. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Vamos a ver la última parte entonces. Uh, letter E. All right. This one, it's a bit tricky. All right. Because you need to read the article. Then select the correct home remedy for each condition. Right. We all, all of us have home remedies. Right. For example, my grandma used to say that when I had um, cough, I need to apply big paporu. I don't know if it happened the same to you, <laughs> that if you have a cold or if you have cough, right? No sé si sus mamás o abuelitas o personas que conocen, les decían que se tenían que poner big en la garganta y en la espalda, <laughs> right? Gran promoción ahorita para big en el video. So, home remedies, right? Are things we do at home that many people say we, it will help you get uh, feel better, or it will it will help you um, like um, not to have that illness anymore, right? For example, it gave us four examples: um, a cold, what to do, uh, which home remedy to use if you have a cold, or if you have a headache, or if you have a cough, or if you have insomnia. So, who can help me read uh, what is the home remedy for a cold? A cold cough by your hair. Okay. Drink hot water with red pepper. Mm -hmm. Yes, Astrid. Let me tell you, please. Like your face with cold water. Many Many. And what can you do for a cold? Many people eat, many people eat hot, hot chicken soup. You can also put your hand in hot water. Mm -hmm. uh, other people drink hot water with red pepper, pepper, sugar, lemon juice. That's correct. So uh, it sounds weird, right? Uh, I mean, about the red pepper, because I heard that they do the thing with the lemon juice and sugar, right? Mm -hmm. Si, eso se ya lo he escuchado, de que si tiene tos o algo, you mix uh, lemon juice with sugar. No, no, lemon juice with honey. I don't know if you yes. heard that. Yes, with That's honey. Right. Yes, yes, juice. And but chicken soul. Uh, it, it's raro. <laughs> yes, right? Uh, but it's like, maybe because of the, that is hot, right? It will calm down the sore of your throat. I think that's the reason why. Quiero creer que por eso es <laughs> right? uh -huh. que lo calientito va a calmar el ardor de la garganta. <laughs> right? So I don't know. O para que le dé hambre. <laughs> right? no. Decía mi abuelita, el enfermo que come no se muere. Right? So, uh -huh. so they, that's correct. So yes, first one. Ya vimos. Other people, many people, como dijo Astrid, eat hot chicken soup. Other people drink hot water with red pepper, sugar, lemon juice, and milk. That is actually the first time. <laughs> y cuando leí esto fue la primera vez que lo leí, guys, de que la gente recomienda hot water, red pepper, sugar, lemon juice, and milk together. I would throw up, honestly, if I, if I taste that. But what if it helps me, right? So for the first one, for a cold, which, which do you think is the correct answer? It has several, um, right? Some people, huh? some people eat hot chicken soup. That's correct. Some people eat hot chicken uh, soup, right? Perfect. Okay, vamos a dejarle ahí, luego vamos a ver si está correcta. Who can help me read? Quiero ver cuál sigue. A cough. Who can help? Raise your hand. Levanten la mano. Who can help me read for a cough? Mm -hmm. I am. Okay, thank you, Jorge. Go ahead. A gosh. Do you have bad gosh dream? 
pour tea and take some honey. This can make you throat throat, throat feel better. Awesome, throat right? Feel better. Yes, that's correct. Thank you very much. So a cough, right? I, ha, ha, like the coronavirus, <laughs> right? Or when you have a cold, right? Or when you have the flu, you may get cough, right? Dos. So if you have a bad cough, uh, people recommend that you drink warm tea or take some honey, right? So this can make your throat feel better. What I was mentioning, for example, that some people mix honey with lemon juice. Some, in some cases, in some cases, I'm sorry, it will make you feel better, right? For the sore, um, for a sore throat, para el ardor de garganta. So, for a cough, what do you, what can you do, guys? You can drink. You can drink what tea or taste some honey. Perfect. That is correct. Number you one. Can, that is correct. Number one, warm tea, right? Some doctors even say that you shouldn't take anything that is cold, right? When you have a cough or when you have the flu, right? So they just recommend warm oh, beverages. That's correct. Awesome. So <laughs> who can help me read the next one? <laughs> Me. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Thank you. Headache. Uh, what about the headache? You have a cold cloth and cloth on your head for mm -hmm. exposure to face with cold water. You can also put your hand in hot water. This kind of help. Mm -hmm. All right. Awesome then. So some people recommend a cold cloth on your head, right? Put it like here on 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 um on the top of your head and splash mm -hmm. some cold cold water, right? Um sometimes that helps. And sometimes I didn't know this one, right? Mm -hmm. That you can put your hands in hot water, right? Yo esta no la conocía, right? That put your hands in hot water. So next time, uh, maybe that helps. Maybe it doesn't, right? It's a home remedy. So let's go with number three for a headache. What can you do? Oh. Uh huh. Pee. That's correct. Put a cold cloth on your head. Seven case cloth, guys? Exactamente. Un trapito chiquito, right? De esos trapitos <laughs> como las toallitas. That's correct. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Un trapito, prácticamente. All right. ¿Quién me puede dar ya con la última? Insomnia. Vamos a escoger a Arlen. Arlen, ayúdeme. Please, help me read the last one. Insomnia. Can sleep at night. Drunk alert glass of warm milk or take a very warm bath. Awesome. So it says that if we can sleep at night, we should drink a large uh, glass of warm milk or take a very warm bath, right? Acordémonos de eso. So for insomnia, which one do you think it is? Drink a large, drink a large glass. Uh, yes. Warm milk. Thank you very much. That is correct. Yeah. Thank you very much. So drink a large glass of warm milk or take a warm bath, right? Let's go ahead and see if we did it good. Yes, amazing. Another 10. Congratulations, guys. Ya no me necesitan, ya vi. Ya está todo chivo. I'm just kidding. All right. So, yes, amazing, guys. So you see, it just takes time. A little bit of time, right? Necesito un poquito de tiempo. Nosotros lo hicimos bien rápido, pero porque yo estoy aquí, right? No se preocupen si se, si se toman un montón de tiempo para hacerlo, okay? Todos tenemos, vamos a ritmos diferentes, all right? So don't worry. Now, guys, uh, we still have 15 minutes. Todavía tenemos 15 minutos. Eh, ¿Están seguros que está todo bien? ¿Está todo bien con el... 
uh, con el midterm test. Recuerden, esto lo voy a decir rapidito en español. Que es, tiene que estar terminado. Me dijeron a más tardar mañana por la noche. All right. Sábado por la noche. Yes. Para, uh -huh. So, y también me recordaron de que el curso termina el 17 de diciembre, mm -hmm. um, antes de las 11 y 59. Sí, para que podamos, eh, porque Insafor, digamos, ya no acepta este, respuestas después de ese tiempo para considerar este, la, 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 que, que ustedes puedan descargar el diploma. Ajá. Entonces, recuerden, igual, estas dos semanas que vienen, digamos que son un poquito más relajadas, porque ya no van a tener que cubrir tres secciones en dos semanas, sino que se pueden tomar el tiempo, digamos, la otra semana que viene hacen la cuatro y la siguiente hacen la cinco. Sin embargo, si ustedes quieren adelantar, no hay problema. ¿okay? Llega un día, termina. <risas> ah, vaya, chivo, entonces. So, si en un día terminan, guys, no hay problema. Eh, digamos que hasta mejor porque vamos repasando todo lo que ya vimos, right? Mm -hmm. Claro okay. está, yo sé que hay personas que no tienen tiempo o, o que, no sé, sí. por algo motivo, right? So, mm -hmm. Y no se preocupen también si no terminan en un día, guys. Todavía tenemos dos semanas. Solo que no es como en otros cursos de que les dicen, no, ahorita no puede seguir, espérese la siguiente fecha, right? No, mm -hmm. este es libre, right? Ustedes lo pueden terminar en el tiempo que eh, que gusten con solo que sea antes de que finalice la fecha, right? Eh, ante, en este caso sería, recuerden, lo voy a poner aquí. It will be Thursday, Thursday, uh, December. Ay, qué barbaridad. December. Teacher. Yes. Luego, luego de eso tenemos nuevamente que mandar la documentación y todo si queremos seguir al el siguiente, ¿verdad? That is correct. Uh, okay. Sí, generalmente se los piden para Hoy ese no mismo día. Ajá, como una semana o dos semanas antes, si no me equivoco, right? Ah, los que van a seguir. Y a veces, a veces es así. A veces en la última semana les piden los documentos, ah. dependiendo. Ajá, so remember guys, that if antes de esta hora tienen que haber terminado la plataforma, all right? Para que Insafor no les diga que no, si quieren continuar, ¿all right? Porque no, en este caso sí no sería inglés corporativo, sino de que Insafor lleva como una, eh, un, como le dicen, un archivo, ¿right? Si ustedes completaron, entonces ya se pueden eh, inscribir al siguiente. Si no lo completan, el mismo sistema no va a dejar eh, que los inscriban al siguiente módulo. Uh -huh. Recuerden, ¿ok? It's at least... 80%, oops, 80% of the course, right? Por lo menos el 80% del curso, ¿ok? Sería por lo menos el 80% del curso. Si ustedes logran el 100%, mucho que mejor, ¿all right? Todavía tenemos tiempo para completar el 100%, ¿sí? So remember this, Thursday, December 17th, Before 11.59 p.m., right? Eh, no pongo a la medianoche porque a veces eh, nos podemos confundir con las horas, right? Entonces es mejor decir antes de las 11.59, ¿ok? So, it will be in two weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Más o menos en dos semanas, right? In two weeks. So, todavía tienen dos semanas, guys. Don't worry. Know that if you have any questions, you can ask me, all right? Ahora, como todavía nos quedan 12 minutos, sí, muy bien, quisiera, quisiera que lo utilizáramos para seguir practicando lo del who, uh, who, whom, which, and that. Is that okay? ¿Está bien? Ok. Ok, then. So, voy a, eh, voy a mandar esto también al, um, al grupo por las personas que no se pudieron conectar el día de hoy. Y yo sé que van a ser solo 10 minutitos, guys. All right. Pero eh, aprovechemos estos 10 minutitos, ¿ok? Antes de las 9 vamos a regresar para, eh, para despedirnos, ¿ok? Los voy a ¿Vamos separar. a hablar? Disculpe, Lee. No, es, no se preocupe. De lo mismo que estábamos hablando ayer. Para el who, el which okay. y el that. Yes. 
Okay. Solo Espérate. hágame una o dos oraciones y si eh, no nos va a alcanzar el tiempo para ahorita, lo vamos a revisar el lunes. Ok, okay. ahorita lo, lo voy a poner en pareja para que logren, para que logren practicar bastante bien. All right, so let's go. Okay, the first uh, census is um, Sara. Sara has a Sara is is a is an is a nurse. Sara is a nurse. And who is who is and a uh, hospital um it correct teacher mm. i'm sorry no no le puedo escuchar okay sara me olvidó sara has a ha, sara is a nurse mm -hmm. sara is a nurse who is eh, who is And, um, a un hospital. Who is? Who is, who is has a hospital? Who is? Como su propio hospital. Ah, ahí. Vale. Entonces, como estamos, digamos, que ella es dueña del hospital. Sí. Uh -huh. Tiene su propio hospital. Ok, uh -huh. entonces lo podemos poner al revés. Um, okay. Quiero ver, quiero ver, déjame ver. Podríamos Sara, poner. Sara, this is. Ajá, uh -huh, this is the hospital that, that Sara owns. Este es un hospital que le pertenece a Sara, se lo voy a poner aquí. Como dije, como dije. This is the Yes, that, all right, thank you. All right. Ah, ¿sabe qué podemos decir? This is the hospital that Sarah owns who is a nurse, right? Que es una enfermera, right? Este es el hospital que le pertenece a Sarah. ¿Quién es una enfermera? Ajá. Okay, this is the hospital that Sarah and who is a nurse. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, another example and okay. mm, teacher. Yeah. Um, for example, um, um Astrid has a nice cat which is a uh, white. Uh, it's correct. Yes, that is correct. Which is white. Solo que en ese caso solo le quita la A antes de white. Ah, okay, okay. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's correct. Pero está, está correcta. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, the another uh, example, uh, I, I have a car which is black, for example. Mm -hmm. Is correct? Is correct? That is, yes, it is. Okay. Uh, an example for for who is Daniel has a son who is two years. Who is? En ese caso, who is? Who is? Who is? Who is? Yes. Who is. Porque uh -huh. el who es para personas oh. y el wish es solo para cosas. Okay. Uh -huh. También podría uh -huh. decir that, ¿verdad? En ese caso. Ajá, exacto. Uh, this is house which is from of the movie theater. Uh, which is... Como, this is house. Esta es la casa uh, la cual está frente al cine. This is house which is... Which is from of the... Which is of the movie theater. ¿Cómo sería ahí? Yes, uh, which is in front of the movie theater. Y el wish funciona y también en ese también puede ocupar el that. Cualquiera de los dos. Uh -huh. Exacto, así. This, this is the house, uh -huh, which is in front of the movie theater. That's correct. Mm -hmm. this, the house. The. Uh -huh. Yes. Voy a poner aquí. Okay. This is the house movie theater. Okay. okay, yes, sort of. Yes. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. Secretary who works at my office. Sí, perfecto, Arlen. Yes. Who works at my office? Correcto, correcto. All right, then. Regresemos, guys. Okay. Okay, guys. So in the meantime, everybody else gets back. Um, I will, I will, I will send you through the uh, weekend durante la semana. I'm sorry, el fin de semana. Les voy a enviar um, más oraciones y ejercicios para que las podamos practicar y, y siempre veamos la diferencia 
de cuál es, um, eh, cuándo utilizar wish, cuándo utilizar that y cuándo utilizar who. All right? Para que la, si ustedes tienen tiempo, no es tarea. All right? It's just for you to practice. All right? Solo para que puedan practicar si tienen el tiempo. Okay? So, do you have any questions before I let you go, guys? ¿Todo bien con el examen? Everything is all right. Yes. Awesome. Thank you, Michael. Yes, teacher. Thank You're you. welcome, guys. All right. So I hope to see you on Monday. Have a great weekend and take care. See you, guys. Hate the Monday. See you on Monday. Take care. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye -bye. Happy weekend. Bye. See you Monday. It's Monday. See you on Monday. Monday. <laughs>